Hey everyone, welcome back. For this week's doll repaint video, I'm going to be turning this Disney Descendants doll into Waluigi. I went into this project as mainly a goof because I thought it would be pretty funny to see what Waluigi would look like as a pretty lady. But I really got into the project and I think she turned out pretty hilarious and kind of awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I'm going to take my 100% acetone and remove her factory paint. Now that her face is all nice and clean, I'm going to take some scissors and get to cutting. You want to make sure the hair is cut really short, like all the way down to the scalp. Now that she's totally bald, I'm going to take some boiling water and dunk her in. And I'm going to leave her in there for about five minutes. Now let's remove her head and scrape out the hair from the inside. Now that that's all done, I'm going to take my X-Acto and cut the top of her head off. And throw away all that nasty hair from the inside. Now taking a black watercolor pencil, I'm going to sketch out the shape of her eyes. Don't worry, it comes off easy with acetone. Once I got the shape the way I want, I go in with a fresh X-Acto and just start cutting out the basic eye shape. Now at this point, I'm gonna make very small cuts angled towards the inside of her face and start thinning out the vinyl around the eyes. Once I got the vinyl as thin as I possibly could, I went in with some 400 grit and 600 grit sandpaper and took it over to the sink for some wet sanding. And here's how it turned out. It just gives it a lot more natural finish. Now taking my favorite epoxy sculpt, I'm gonna start on her face. I started with her nose. I wanted to have that really kind of beaky, hooked nose effect that Waluigi has. And in retrospect, I probably should have sculpted the lips first, and I found that out later. And now I'm just taking some more epoxy sculpt and making Waluigi's pointy elfish kind of ears. Now that all the sculpting's done, I'm gonna take my airbrush and repaint her face. I'm just trying to match it to the original color of the vinyl. And this took about <laughs> five or six coats. Now for the face. I'm just starting with some contouring around the ears and cheeks. Just going in pretty softly. I still want it to look semi-natural. And going in with some more pastels, I'm gonna build up the blush. And this is the same color I'm going to use for the nose, too. I mix together a pink and a red. Of course you have to get that nose. Now 
now for Waluigi's classic blue eyeliner. Just taking a couple of different shades of blue and building it up. And for the lips, I wanted to kind of go with the purple theme, so I'm going in with a kind of fuchsia color at first. And then later I'm going to go back in with some blues and purples to build up a kind of ombre effect around the lips. I'm also going to give her a very dark, blocky kind of eyebrow. Sort of to match the way Waluigi's mustache looks, but as an eyebrow. And while I'm just building up colors here, I wanted to briefly mention that I set up a Patreon account. I had a couple people asking if I would set one up, and I finally did. I plan on posting a lot of behind the scenes pictures and videos, as well as having some exclusive video content and a bunch of other cool membership perks on the different tiers. So if you're interested, go ahead and join us over there. It should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna leave an info card at the top of the screen here. So just go ahead and click and check it out. Anyways, back to the face. Now I'm just taking a pink fleshy color for her waterline. And I'm just giving her a very natural kind of brownish eyeshadow in the fold of her eye. Now I'm just taking some white paint and filling in the teeth. And she's pretty much all done. I sealed her with two coats of Mr. Super Clear afterwards. Now I'm working on the eyes. I took my polymer clay eye bases that I made and just filling that in with a black paint. Now while the paint is still a little bit wet, I'm going to go in with my Born Pretty Black Hollow Glitter and fill that in the eyes. Now with some gel top coat, I'm going to go back and forth between filling in the eyes and carrying it in the UV lamp until it's all built up. Now taking some more epoxy sculpt, I'm going to make a little snake, put it around the eyeball, and insert it into her head. Here's how it turned out. She's looking good. I made some brown yarn wefts, and I'm just gluing those all around the head. I sewed the outfit off camera, just because I was having kind of a hard time with it. But here's how it turned out. Here's her hat, and some overalls with comically large buttons. So I painted her hands white and sculpted her a pair of pointy shoes since I didn't have anything that fit that doll. And she's all done. Let's check out her final reveal shots. <laughs> 